Minnesota does a lot of things right. Call of Duty Esports, lakes, balls of twine, thunderstorms in August. Today, I'm gonna to be jumping in the Ford Raptor, going to the 5-8 Club and Matt's Bar, who both claim that they invented and have the best Juicy Lucy's in town. You guys know that Juicy Lucy is a cheeseburger with cheese on the inside. I'm gonna be picking them up, bringing them back for the guys at Rocker HQ, and they're gonna be doing a blind taste test to decide which one is indeed the best. Let's go. So our guys are practicing for playoffs right now. I'm out in the rain, running around, getting some Juicy Lucy's for them. I'm just saying they should be thankful. I'm sure they will be, because they're nice boys. I deserve some fist bumps when I get back. That's all I'm saying. Right now, we're on our way to the 5-8 Club. I've been to the 5-8 Club before. I like the inside. It's got good vibes. I mean, I'm not gonna say where I'm at in the Mats versus 5'8 Juicy Lucy war, but I'm just excited to see what the guys think. Am I gonna get a pickup truck one day? Um, and honestly, like, this is starting to change my mind. I really like the vibe of this. It's nice and lifted, super nice on the inside. We're on our way to Matt's bar now. And they actually started their restaurant in 1958, I believe. Never been to Matt's bar, but uh, it seems like a cool little place. Matt's only allows American. I'm wondering why that is. Maybe they're cheese elitists. Maybe they just really love American cheese. Anytime you're looking at like a secret menu item like this, it's, uh, it's gotta be their way, right? So we're just leaving Matt's bar now. We've got all of our Juicy Lucy's in the back. I'm ready to go to Rocker HQ. Uh, I'm trying to get over there so that these guys can get their hot burgers, taste test them, and tell us who has the best Juicy Lucy in Minnesota. Man, I'm afraid because we have even number people. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So up first we have Burger A here. I'm not gonna tell you where it's from. I just want you guys to try it, eat it, enjoy it. And then we'll obviously have you guys try Burger B. And you guys just talk amongst yourself while you're trying it, give us your impressions, what you think. And at the end, we'll have you guys vote. Is there not supposed to be cheese inside of the burger? Mm -hmm. There is. There is. I have cheese in mine. I barely have any. Okay, <laughs> pickles are a nice touch. Do fries count? Because they're fire. Don't. On a scale of one to ten, what do you guys rate the Juicy Lucy that you just ate? Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it a seven. Seven, seven. eight, seven. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. How'd you know? Mm -hmm. Adam? Pretty much sevens and eights across the board for everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if it's, hey water. look, I, I don't know if it was because I was really hungry that that was so fire, but. This one's got to be better. Yeah, it's got yeah. The, the presentation was better on the other one, but you can, see the can clearly see the grease. It came in a crumpled up white bag. That's you how you just know it's about to hit. Bro, just look. You can only see the cheese coming out. I just took a bite of it, and I just burst it out with cheese. Oh yeah. my god. I know, Kev. Why Juicy Lucy's are, are good. Whatever, whatever restaurant this is, they want. I'll, I'll, give, this I'll give this one a seven and a half to an eight. Seven and a half to an eight on the second one. Yeah. The first one's a, a hard give, six, soft I'll give this five one a nice three yeah, I'll give it a nine. After seeing the cheese on this one, it's, like, <laughs> it's an eight. The first one was like a, a six. six. This one's yeah. an eight. The burgers that you guys liked better was from Matt's Bar. I knew it. Matt's Bar yeah. wanted to be for them. Next time, I don't know what we'll have you rate, but we'll have to have you have some other type of Minnesotan dish and give it a shot and pick your favorites. But I really appreciate you guys coming by today, and uh, yeah.